I think generative video has kind of moved from this moment of almost possible to possible. Six months ago, a year ago, a few years ago, you had Will Smith eating, you know, pasta. Yeah. It was a disaster. <laughs> and then even last year, you had kind of these videos of like knives cutting off fingers and there were six fingers. And, you know, it was like, that's where we were. Yeah. Um, so I think physics, tons of progress. Mm -hmm. The ability to do photorealistic quality, uh, very huge progress. So I was talking to a couple of AI filmmakers this week and what they're really interested in is exactly what you're saying. Character consistency, scene consistency, camera control. It's almost like we need to build an AI camera. You think of some of the cameras that are kind of filming us right now. This is sort of like decades of technology that's yep. kind of been perfected for a certain sort of input output. Yeah. And I think we're on the verge of kind of needing to create a new AI camera. And when you do that, you can generate infinite number of scenes. You can generate like, oh, you're wearing a red sweater, now make it blue. And not just in that scene, but in like a whole two hour film. Mm -hmm. We kind of talk internally in the team about how do you kind of lower the bar and raise the ceiling? And what we think about that when we're building products is how do you make something more accessible? Yeah. Or how do you make like the pros take it and just blow you know, the quality out of the water and make it incredible stuff? Um, so that's what we're seeing with video. It's kind of right at that point where both are happening.